Uh, Justin has a cool question. Uh, what about the it factor? You have a clear talent to communicate. Yeah, you know, I think the it factor can 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 vary. Like that definitely helps. But when we're talking about the basics mechanics of like get to five thousand subscribers, get your channel monetized, get to ten thousand subscribers, I think it's less about like the it factor at that state. Maybe to get to like a higher threshold, you need that. But I also think someone that's thoughtful and knows their stuff is going to be way more credible. Meaning like I watch like Dr. Grande and he's like a psychology channel. He like diagnoses different celebrities and it's great. But he doesn't have this like over the top big personality. But again, everyone doesn't have to be high energy and big personality. Like you could definitely approach it in a totally different way if that's not authentic to who you are. I think that starts becoming more and more of a variable the bigger your channel gets, not early on. I feel like almost anyone who's doing things deliberately can grow a channel to five, 10,000 subscribers, get it monetized. Now to go from 10,000 to 50,000, 50,000 to 100,000, 100,000 to 200,000, 200,000 to a million, those are, yes, maybe there's some other things, but you all, like, you're also gonna get so much better going from 1,000 to 10,000 and then 10,000 to 50,000. The more you make, the more better you're gonna get and the more you're gonna figure out. Like some people have mellow personalities and that's literally their shtick. Let me show you guys Dr. Grande because I think that's some, I, I wanna give you guys like a very practical example of someone that's like totally not the quintessential YouTube. Have you guys seen this guy? He puts out a lot of videos and they're not highly produced and there's no B-roll. There's just him talking. Let's watch one of them. This is Dr. Grande. Today's question is, can I analyze the life, death, and personality of George Carlin? Just a reminder, I'm not diagnosing you by this video, only speculating about what could be happening in a situation like this. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, subscribe to my channel, and consider supporting me on Patreon. I will put the link to Patreon in the description for this video. First, I'll look at the background of George Carlin, then I'll move to my analysis. George Carlin was born in Manhattan on May 12, 19 Okay, so it's literally like a picture. There's no B-roll, there's no sound. I mean, a dude has 1.14 million subscribers. George had made a journey from theism to atheism, and eventually to deism. So moving back to the original dilemma, was George's humor an expression of his identity? I think it was an expression of how he tried to resolve his conflicts. In a way, he gave the audience a glimpse into an exaggerated version of his attempt to resolve important questions in his life. You see what I mean? And dude, Dr. Grande crushes. Some of it, like he'll have these like funny jokes in there sometimes. And I don't know if he's writing this stuff. I don't know if he's freestyling. I don't know if he's, I don't know. All I'm saying is this brother got 1.14 million subscribers, right? And he covers pop culture, relevant topics. There's evergreen topics like George Carlin. George Carlin's not trending right now, right? And so he'll do the Amber Heard trial thing. He'll do stuff that's relevant. Then he'll do like evergreen stuff. And he leans into his area of expertise, which is he is a therapist. Dr. Grande's YouTube channel covers topics related to counselor, education, and supervision, including but not limited to mental health, human behavior, relationship dynamics, psych psychopathology, personality theory, true crime, pop culture, so on and so forth, right? Is a licensed chemical dependency professional. So he has an expertise. He leans into it. I watch his channel all the time. Sometimes it's current stuff. Sometimes it's, it's old stuff. Okay, so if his channel can appeal to me because I have a loose interest in psychology, I'm sure there's a wide net out here for uh, folks who are, you know, aren't over the top crazy personalities, right? Uh, because there is definitely like a YouTube caricature of how we think a YouTuber should behave. And it's nonsense. Like you don't have to behave like this big personality and over the top stuff. And so check out Dr. Grande. I think there's a lot here in terms of the question of, do you need a big personality? Do you have to have an it factor? Do you have to be a great communicator? No, I think more than anything, you need to be yourself. You need to lean into what you know about. Stop faking the funk about stuff you don't know about. Some of you guys just need to switch your channel because you don't really know what you're talking about. Or, or at the very least, if you're like, don't make a psychology channel unless you're very versed in psychology. Don't make a theology channel unless you know your theology. Um, but, but, but other stuff like Daniel's reaction to music, that's different. That's a subjective opinion. Your reaction to fashion, your reaction to uh, sports. I think about this sports, right? That's different. But when you're talking about stuff that really matters, psychology, like, like the, like the hard sciences, medicines, theology, right? Philosophy, you should be versed in it to some, to some form or degree. And so I think Dr. Grande is the, the prototype for a lot of you guys that just maybe feel like you don't, you're not good enough. Now, granted, he has early movers advantage. He's been on YouTube, the platform for 
uh, you know, probably five years. Let's see if I could figure out. Well, eight years ago, and he wasn't even on camera for his oldest uploads, okay? So this is, it looks like it's just a bunch of grass. I mean, these are terrible. There's no thumbnails, right? And let's see, eight years ago, if we keep going, then it's him and with this terrible couch. Holy moly, this is this is, looks like it's from the 70s, right? And then he keeps going, keeps going, let's see. And he's doing kind of interviews, right? Just straight, like, educational stuff. And this is pretty bad, but he's consistent. I mean, look at this. We're looking at dozens of videos from eight years ago. And let's see when the switch happens. Let's see when the glow up happens, right? And he's still getting 100,000 views, 27,000 views. This is 19, this is 2000 and, uh, 2016, right? We're going to keep going. When does the glow up happen? When, is the, when, is the, when does he find his format? Okay. So he's talking about hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of views. We're bad. Th okay. So now he starts doing thumbnails and he puts his little text on them. Okay. So, so they're not still half thumbnails, half not. Still not really doing thumbnails. Okay, and then boom. Okay, so now we have a little change. One way reputed measures. Okay, so he's doing primarily, it sounds like just psychology stuff. He's doing interviews, he's talking with people. Let's see where he starts working in what is PTSD. So this is more like evergreen, ambling. This is more like psychology concepts. But I think the point probably where his channel exploded is when he started talking about things related to, to, to people of interest. Right? So Johnny Depp or whoever, fill in the blank. So I'm curious. So guys, this is three years ago and he's still just talking about general psychology, mental health resources. Is there an easy way to spot a narcissism? I watched this video. This was from three years ago. I get, apparently I was curious about narcissism. So at some point, th th this is this evergreen stuff had some utility, right? And I'm sure because I'm subscribed, YouTube probably worked that up. I don't think I searched for that three years ago. Okay, boom. So look, here we go. He starts working in people. Let's go back, Dr. Phil three years ago, and he starts working in people that people care about or evergreen stories that he found interesting. Mercedes Brothers murder. So once he changed the format three years ago, you're talking about eight years of uploads, and then he changes the format, and, and, I, and I, I'm not speaking with certainty, but I'm guessing that's when his channel took off, right? And so if we go back, is everyone mentally ill? And let's see the first one where he incorporated personality. Ted Bundy. Looks like Ted Bundy. Three years ago, 1.2 million views. Welcome to my scientifically informed insider look at mental health topics. If you find this video to be interesting 28 helpful, minute video. please like it and subscribe to my channel. 1.2 million views. Today's question. Terrible audio, no lighting, right? Asks yeah, trend surfing. The Netflix special that came out. Com so apparently it's a Netflix special. This is probably one of the first times where Netflix special comes out. This is relevant. He's an expert on this topic. Boom, serial killer question. Somebody Sessions asks him. Killer. By the way, all the time he lets his audience drive the, the, the content for him. That's a great way. Let your audience tell you what they want from you, right? When you build an audience. Which was a four part series that looked at Ted Bundy, who is one of the most notorious serial killers in history. And I thought this was an interesting topic. I spent a lot of time studying. So, anyway, guys, hopefully that's helpful. You don't got to be. Don't got to be over the top. Yes, trend surfing is definitely a way to go. Ride the trend. Ride the trends. Ride what people care about. Why? Why should they care about you if you don't care about what they care about? Right? He hits curiosity hard. That's right. That's right, Justin. And it all is going to come back to those two. Th those two tensions: conflict and curiosity. Right? Conflict and curiosity. And and the and some characters are just going to have natural conflict built into them for him. That's a lot of the people he covers. Ted Bundy. Curiosity. What does a psychologist think? What's the mental illness component to it? Right? I appreciate you. If you want your channel reviewed, sign up for our Patreon community at the thirty dollar tier. We're going to be doing more of these. People can call in talk to me. Uh, make sure you're subscribed here. I'll see you guys later. I appreciate y'all. All right. Peace.